Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Those who are new, welcome to my channel. In today's class, let us see Indian election system. Today we learn only about the structure of election commission. Now let us begin. India is the biggest democracy in the world. We are all know that our India has the biggest democracy in all over the world. A free and fair elections are needed for the healthy democracy in order to ensure a free independent election in India. If you want to establish a democracy on that time, we have to give the importance to free and fair election in the area where we establish a free and healthy democracy. In order to ensure the free independent election in our India, the constitution of our India speaks about the independent election commission in India from article 324 to 329. We see that in our constitution, it described related to free and independent election system in our India. It was in the article 324 to 329. The election commission in all India institutions, it has a responsibility to conduct both the central and the state elections. The election commission conduct local body election under the article 324 K and AZ. Election Commission is an institution which was which has the responsibility to conduct the election in central and state level. The Election Commission conduct the local body election under the Article 324 K and AZ. Those are all about the introduction. Now let us see structure of the Election Commission. Article 324 speaks about the formation of Election Commission. In the Article 324, we see that how the Election Commission was formed. The Indian Election Commission was founded in January 25, 1950. The Indian Election Commission was established or founded in January 25, 1950. In the beginning, it had the only one chief election commissioner in the year 1989 through the constitutional amendment 61. The minimum age of voting was reduced to 18 years from the 21 years. Before the 1989, we see that the voting age was 21 years. After this 1989, it was reduced to 18 years. This increased the work pressure of the commission. Hence, all Along with the Chief Election Commissioner, the two more election commissioners were appointed in the year 1990. The post of two election commissioners were removed again and in the year 1993, the post of two election commissioners was created. Although the three election commissioners enjoy the equal powers in the case of a difference in opinion, the majority decision prevails. Here we see that along with the Chief Election Commissioner, the Election Commission was appointed the two commissioners after the, in the year 1990, the post of two election commissioners was removed and again it was re-established in the year 1993, the two posts of election commissioners was created. Those three commissioners are enjoy the equal powers in the case of a difference in the opinion and a majority decision prevails. Now let us move The on. president appoint the election commissioners. The president is appoint the election commissioners. Their tenure is for six years or the completion of 65 years of their age, which is the earlier they can then the registration at any given time and the parliament can impeach them on the grounds of incompetency and unconstitutional behavior. Here we see that the president is appointed the election commissioners. Their tenure was six years or they are the completion of 65 years of the age of election commissioners. Whenever in the earlier the tenure and registration is given the time, 
they removed if they can done any unconstitutional behavior the election commission conduct the election of a president vice president rajya sabha lok sabha vidhan parishad and vidhan sabha it is an absolute power of declare the dates of election and declaration of result and during the entire duration of election the duration is called as a period of model code of conduct the election commission has no employee of its own to conduct election it appoint the government employees for this work which with the approval of president here we see that the election commission has been up, conducted the election of president vice president rajya sabha lok sabha vidhan parishad vidhan sabha those are all elections which are conducted by election commission and they have absolute power to declare the date of election and they have also declare the result of election the result and during the entire duration of election this duration is called as a period of model code of conduct the election commission has no the election commission did not have their own employees it has own conduct to conduct elections it appoint the government employees for the work with the approval of a president they take approval of president after that they are take the government employees to their work the state election commission conducted the election of local bodies of panchayat raj and urban local bodies and the governor appointed the state election commissioner under the article 243k and za in karnataka the state election commission has been formed under the article 308 of karnataka gram swaraj and panchayat raj act of 1993 it was conducted the election of local bodies here we see that in the state election commission was conducted the election related to the local bodies of panchayat raj and urban local bodies the governor was appointed the state election commissioners it is in article 243k and za in karnataka we see that the election commission has been formed under the article 308 of karnataka gram swaraj and panchayat act 1993 it was conducted the election of local bodies those are all about the structure of election commission in this we see the foundation of election commission after that we see the tenure of election commissioners after that we see the powers and functions of election commissions after that we see the state election commissioners we see how the election commissions are conducted the election and how they declare the result those are all we have learned in today's session if you have any queries regarding this comment below thank you for watching this